Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can create this design right here. This is that nice, minimalistic, simple design style. I'm showing this on a kid's shirt, but of course this would work for kids or adults, which is always great because kids like to have holiday shirts too. So if you would like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. So here we are on Canva's homepage and we are going to be making another t-shirt design today. So I am going to go ahead and start by selecting a custom size here on the right side of the page. And I will be selecting 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And we will be optimizing our design again for darker colors. So I'm just going to go ahead and select black for my background color and go from there. Now today's design is very fast, very simple. This is the minimalistic style. And so obviously there's a lot of boho styles going around, some of that minimalistic stuff that's very popular. And so another funny niche that I've seen and a bunch of different ways that you can do this niche, I'm just gonna show you one way and it's gonna be you know, that very simple style, but it is going to say in a world full of reindeers, be a Rudolph. And of course, you can do that however you want, but I do want to show you the minimalistic style we're going to go with today. So I'm going to start by hitting T on my keyboard and we are going to start with some of that text up top. And it is going to start by saying in a world full of reindeer. And that is going to go right up top here. Boom. And then at the bottom, another text box. It is going to say B, A, I'll bring that down. And I'm gonna do Rudolph in a different font. There we go, Rudolph, okay. And then we're gonna put a really simple Rudolph face down here. And so for this, I am gonna start with a lowercase. Um, I wanna keep this lowercase, I wanna keep this lowercase, only the capital R is going to be capitalized. I'm looking for something that's very simple this right here by itself might look okay but i did decide i looked at different fonts and the one that i decided to go with after looking at several fonts was one called radcliffe Let's see if i can find it radcliffe there's radcliffe hand that's the one i decided to go with there's also a radcliffe script and a regular radcliffe i liked this it gave it a little bit of that handwritten look and I decided to do that too for this one down here the Radcliffe hand so we can see how I did that I'm going to go ahead and change the spacing here too because I want these lines to be a little closer so if I hit this up and down arrow I can take that line spacing and move them closer together and so deciding what I want that spacing to be I'm going to bring them pretty close and that is literally going to be the top fonts right there. And then at the bottom, Rudolph was the only thing I was going to do that was going to be in a different, um, a different uh, font. I wanted this to be a little bit more bold and scripty. So with this one, again, I looked at lots of different fonts to figure out what I thought would work good. Um, I went with this one here. What does it say? Almanade, Almanade. So it was just sort of a handwritten again, if I'm gonna go with that handwritten look, that handwritten scripty look here. And I did wanna make Rudolph pretty big there. So there's my Rudolph. And it says, be a Rudolph, okay? And then I'm gonna put just a really simple Rudolph face. And when I mean simple, I mean we are gonna create the face from antlers, eyes, and a nose, and that is all you need. And for the nose, I'm just gonna hit C on my keyboard. That's a circle. I'm gonna shrink that down, like pretty small. I'm gonna go ahead and if you push down on a circle, you'll kind of make it a little bit more ovally. And so you can see right there. And that right there is Rudolph's nose. And we could go ahead and make that a red color. It's gonna do that for me. Here we go, hold on. It says red. So there's Rudolph's nose. So now we just need a pair of eyes and a pair of antlers. So let's go up here. 
we can go ahead and do a search for elements and we can do reindeer we can do rudolph we can do reindeer horns it depends how simple you want it to be let's just put reindeer because i bet that's going to give us all a bunch of horns and so we can look um so here would be like an example of a simple one i don't really like those horns but that's pretty simple right there here is or antlers i should say here's a pair of antlers um, this is an option though Let's go ahead and make these a brownish color here. There's an option here. These are a little bit more narrow than I would like. Ideally, I want them to be maybe a little bit wider versus taller, but I like the way that that looks. So that's basically the style I want. I mean, you could definitely do something like, here's almost like stick figure style. You could do that. And so you can see sort of those minimalistic ones. Um, I like those horns, or sorry, I keep saying horns, antlers, but I don't want the um, the lights on them. There's more antlers. Of course, I can do a search just for antlers. Here's another simple one, so you can kind of see just the, the antlers in the nose. Here is just an already made nose, but I wanted to go just super simple in one tone, so not even that two-tone nose. Um, and let's see if there's any other antlers that I like better because I know I saw some that were a little bit wider. Let's go ahead and do a search for just antlers and see what comes up. All right, so here's some different ones. That's what I've got right now. Here's ones that are a little wider. Those are cool. Uh, I don't necessarily like them as much. Here's another pair that's a little bit wider. I'm looking for something that's wider, but still gives a good antler look. That's a little bit too detailed. So I looked at a lot of different antlers and I liked these ones here the best. They were a little bit more in like horizontal versus vertical. So they took up a lot more horizontal space without taking up the vertical space in the page. So I did like that. So now I have my nose. I have my antlers, and then I just needed a pair of eyes. Now I do have eyes here. These are the ones that I ended up picking, but I'll show you if you just go ahead and do a search for eyes and you look at graphics, you will see that there are tons of different eyes that you can choose. So there's eyes, all sorts of different eyes that you can choose, and there are a bazillion pairs of eyes that you can play with. Close set, far set, excited looking, eyes that have eyebrows, realistic looking, cartoony, so many different eyes, those are cool. These ones I liked, if I brought them all the way down, somewhere here-ish, something like that. And so those are the eyes that I was looking at there. And that is the design. So like I said, super simple, super easy. The only thing that I was going to add was going to take this Rudolph and I think I was going to make it a nice red color to match the nose. So something like that. And I could even go ahead and make that pink even more something like that even so that it's a little bit more washed out i can do the same thing here with the nose grab that nose wash that nose color out too so that's a little bit more pink and i can play maybe something like that i don't want it to be too dark okay so the point of this kind of that simple minimalistic sort of faded tones so nothing's very bright nothing is super loud I want it to be really simple the font doesn't need to be too big again I think that that probably looks pretty good right there so super simple design that was really fast and easy to make again this is a really popular niche so you can find lots of different ways to do this this is just one style which is just that really simplistic style um, and that's always pretty popular too so all you'd have to do from here is go to share download it's a transparent background it's a png you hit download and it is now ready to go on a shirt a sweatshirt anything of course this would also work for children so this would be a great one for kids clothing as well and so lots of different ways that you can go with this super fast and easy design too if you have any questions about this you can drop it in the comment section below if you have video requests you can put those in the comment section below i do read all of your comments and thank you so much for the kind words and if you have any um 
any not just video requests but requests in general about the channel things you'd like to see or things you like things you want to see differently done go ahead you can throw that in there too um i hope you guys are having really great sales and i do hope to see you guys again next week that's all for today's video if you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.